In this lesson, you and your students will use think blocks and think tiles to learn about the five senses, the sensory organs, and sensory descriptors, the words we use to describe our environment. Place the census tile on a large block. Place each of the five census tiles on the medium blocks. Then place them inside the large block. Do the same for the organs tile and the five organs tiles. How do we understand the things around us? What do we use to see, smell, hear, taste, and touch? Remove the 10 medium blocks from the senses and organs blocks and place them in front of students. Ask students to relate senses and organs by matching each sense block to its corresponding organ block. What part do we use to see with? What part do we use to smell with? Lay out five large blocks. Place the tile pair created in the last step onto a large block. Ask the students to place each of the sensory descriptor tiles onto a medium block. Have students match the description tile to the sensory pair block by placing them inside the large block. Here, students match hard with touch and skin. We use the word loud for hearing or our ears. Extend your students' learning by examining the relationship between taste and smell. Ask your students whether any of the sensory descriptors for taste could also apply to smell. They may say sweet. Ask if any of the words for smells could also be used for tastes. Sour is one example. Since some of these words can be used for both taste and smell, there may be a relationship between these two senses. What could that relationship be? Use small blocks to represent your students' hypotheses. You aren't limited to the words on the think tiles. Use think blocks dry erase surface to write or draw any idea onto the blocks. In this example, have students generate words used to describe touch and texture. Use their responses to generate a list of synonyms. For sharp, they may say things like pointy or prickly. Use the small blocks to represent their ideas. Extend your students' learning by taking various perspectives on an object using ThinkBlock's reflective surface. Here we look at a plant from the perspective of a bee and from the student's own perspective. What senses do we use to experience the plant? What senses does the bee use? Visit our website to see how other educators are using ThinkBlock's to help their students learn content and thinking skills.